This is the case of a uh, notorious interstate uh, criminal who projected himself as a ACP officer and extorted uh, money to the tune of 1 crore 2 lakhs within a year. So his name is Nuteti Jayakumar alias Jaya. He is native of Anandapur district of uh, Kotalapalli. He has completed uh, his education from his native village at Dorovakon uh, Anandapur. So in 2016 he got married to a woman and uh, got divorced in the next six months. And after 2016 he worked for a year in a private company as a salesman with Google Textiles. In 2017 he was caught and handed while snatching a chain and a case was registered against him and he was sent to jail. In 2007, 2017 also he was caught red handed while snatching a chain in Anantapur and again he was sent to jail. In 2018, uh, 2018 also he was again uh, sent to jail by registering a case in Anantapur town. In, on three occasions he was sent to jail from Anantapur uh, district while, while he got involved in the snatching cases in the district headquarters. In 2009 he came across uh, two people namely Srinath Reddy and uh, Anil, they got introduced him to jail while he was in uh, spending his time in jail in Anandapur. So from there he learned this modus operandi of uh, uh, depicting himself as an uh, ACB officer, anti-corruption bureau officer and uh, calling the government officials by taking their mobile numbers from the Google or the internet. He would call them, uh, the government officials and say that there is a corruption complaint against him with the ACB department and uh, he would pose himself as an ACB officer and he would ask them to settle the case rather than going for a raid or legal, ag legal action against them. So he has been involved uh, in several extortion cases. It's like he was involved in more than 18 extortion cases. Uh, 18 extortion cases have been registered against him and he has also cheated hundreds of government officers from 2019 to 2023, the last five years. So, when we see this officials of uh, various uh, uh, districts, especially in Andhra Pradesh and uh, Telangana, he would pose himself as an ACP officer, call them of different uh, districts, uh, different departments, namely irrigation, civil supply, civil supplies, transport, R and B, and Panchayat Raj and uh, other uh, other departments. He would pose himself as ACP officer. He would call them and say that there is a complaint pending against you in the ACP <coughs> office or ACP headquarters. And uh, if at all you don't, uh, uh, if at all you want to be spared from the raid by the ACP officers, better settle down, uh, settle the case unofficially. So he would uh, collect money to the tune of uh, 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 1 lakh, even 50,000 rupees. Uh, in that way, he has almost uh, collected uh, 1 crore 2 lakh rupees in the last uh, one year from uh, July 2022 to, uh, 20 and uh, July 2023. So all this money was electronically transferred by the victim officers to the into 9 accounts, especially these accounts are on the uh, names of some senior citizens. He would immediately withdraw the money after uh, the money gets deposited in the account. And uh, he is also uh, used to habituated to uh, luxurious life of spending money. So he would visit pubs and um, he would also visit casinos in Goa and other areas where he would lavishly spend uh, money. He would also go with uh, uh, women uh, by sort of uh, um, hiring them and uh, this way he would spend the money like uh, uh, he would spend the whole money in a couple of days, like two days, three days, at least one, one and a half lakh in a day. So once the money is over, he would again resort to this sort of extortion, posing himself as an ACB officer. So in this way that uh, he would, his MO was that he would keep, he would be mobile himself, traveling in a public transport bus from morning till evening and he would switch off his phone by evening. Uh, th so that would become difficult for uh, any police agencies or investigative agencies as well as the victims to identify him every day. So 
that way he has cheated officers almost hundreds of officers in the last one year and he has extorted 1 crore 2 lakh rupees from all these officers in both Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Sir, how, how much is he recovered cash? So, as I told you earlier that uh, he would spend the money immediately, lavishly on several things going to pubs, bars and casinos and uh, so that's why we could not recover much. We could only recover 85,000 rupees from him and uh, 224,000 rupees from his uh, bank account which was frozen. And we also recovered uh, almost 8 cell phones and uh, 5 SIM cards and 3 ATM cards from his possession. Uh, and uh, the SOT Cyberabad under the supervision of uh, <coughs> CP Cyberabad Sri Stephen Ravindra sir and other officers uh, SOT SP Sri Rashid, additional DCP SOT Narayan Rand, additional DCP Shamshabad Sri Ram Kumar, ACP Shamshabad uh, uh, Ramchandra Rao and Inspector SOT Satyanarayana, Inspector Shamshabad Sridhar Kumar and uh, other officers of SOT uh, were involved, I mean, they have made a uh, lot of efforts to trace this notorious interstate criminal in the last one and a half to two months. So, he has been constantly changing his SIM cards and uh, the mobile instrument very frequently every 10-15 days. So, it, was, it has become very difficult for the police to trace him. But nevertheless, police had made uh, tiring efforts uh, to track this criminal and trace this criminal. So, we, I request all the senior citizens and students not to give your ID card, I mean other cards and all this because these notorious criminals would be taking SIM cards and would be opening bank accounts with the help of these other cards. So, I request all the government officers also not to succumb to such uh, extortions or threat from any uh, criminals posing themselves as ACB officers. In fact, ACB officers would never call any of the government officers and uh, uh, ask them for any settlement of this sort. So, I request every, uh, all government officials to be alert and to report such cases whenever they get a call from strangers to the nearest police station. Thank you. Thank you.